Have you ever bought something in the dream of making a video about it and potentially making it worth your purchase? Well, that's this video. I have wanted for many years to purchase a Desert Eagle, and I did so about a year ago. This is a 50 caliber Desert Eagle. This is the, as they say, the most powerful handgun in the world. It certainly is the most powerful semi-automatic handgun. This is no joke. Now, of course, just like my silencer video, I learned about this gun in video games. And let's be honest, it's, it's, it's making some pretty bold claims. And you know me, it's almost in Mythbuster fashion. I need to see if that's true. So we put this gun through a variety of tests to see just how destructive a Desert Eagle actually is. It barely meets the requirements in my mind of being a pistol. In fact, it has like a bolt carrier group similar to an AR-15. It's more like a rifle. The barrel is fixed. So, you know, unlike my 1911, the barrel doesn't move in and out. It's, it's in the gun. It's stuck there. Obviously, it's removable for cleaning, but uh, and exchangeable. So, you know, for example, you use the 44 caliber Desert Eagle. This is the 50 caliber. A barrel change and a magazine, and I think the, the bolt carrier group thing, uh, swap that out, and you can fire a different round inside of the same gun. This is a very iconic gun, as you've seen it in many different movies, including this scene right here. And the fact that I've got Desert Eagle, 0.50, written on the side of mine. Admittedly, I didn't see that scene until after I purchased this gun, but you can see why that's such a classic line. This is 50 caliber, which uh, for those of you not as familiar with guns, that means 0.5 of an inch. A caliber is one inch. This is the legally the largest round allowed inside of a pistol. So looking at this, this is a fairly large round. That's a jacketed hollow point, JHP, if you see that in video games. Uh, of course, it's meant to you know, splinter and, and open up and mushroom. But that's a 45 caliber, so it is 0.45 of an inch. But compare that to the Desert Eagle. It's unfair to say this is a 45 and this is a 50 uh, when it's clear that there's a lot more going on in the round. There is a hell of a lot more gunpowder hiding behind this round. What's particularly interesting is that the most common round available for the Desert Eagle is the hollow point. So unlike a full metal jacket or FMJ, as you see again in video games, the full metal jacket means that it's a piece of lead covered in uh, different metal. The JHP, the jacketed hollow point, is what you'll normally find when you go to a gun range and you purchase ammunition for this gun. This is a nasty, nasty round. If you've watched any YouTube videos about this gun, you know that this thing will pulverize fruit. Honeydew, watermelon, all gone in the blink of an eye. Now, I'm not afraid of a honeydew meeting that fate because that stuff tastes like shit, but I wanted to see the stopping power of this gun, particularly through various things. The first experiment was kind of an easy one. We already knew the result, but you see various video game characters dressed up with motorcycle helmets. Not military helmets, not armor-proof or armor-resistant helmets, but actual motorcycle helmets. Clearly, the bullet passes straight through it. What's particularly interesting about this is not only does the bullet pass straight through it, but it is a jacketed hollow point bullet, so you'd expect it to expand. And even the exit wound out of the helmet which is of course plastic and a variety of impact resistant material, is still almost the same exact size. It doesn't even stop. It doesn't even take much time to expand. As you see in the movies, a lot of people will shoot either a door or a lock off of a door to gain entry through that. Now they'll use a variety of handguns, but in this case, why not use the king? The door we set up is an actual working door. I even uh, used my carpentry skills to put the insert, the metal insert into the door frame. When you shoot a door like this, mind you, this is a residential interior door. It was locking before we shot it. The bullet clearly pulverizes the internals of the door. It ripped the doorknob off, but it left the plunger and other hard metals intact. I would strongly recommend saving that bullet and just using a shoulder to get through that door. I'm sure many of you have seen this meme. It says that a 50 caliber is meant for shooting an intruder hiding behind a refrigerator in your neighbor's house. Now we got a refrigerator 
and we decided to fill it with legitimate fruit to see just how far this bullet would go. To make this as realistic as possible, we propped a watermelon on the opposite side of a fridge. Not only that, we filled the fridge with other fruit. Now, if you're like me, your fridge is filled with like a bottle of ketchup and two things of Red Bull, but in a normal family household environment, there's actually stuff inside of your refrigerator. We simulated that. Let's see if the bullet can pass through every single bit of it. The result of that honestly shocked me, and the reason why was I was more expecting a ricochet or something simple that, hey, this bullet might, you know, stop on the metal frame of the, uh, the refrigerator, but it didn't. It didn't even slow it down. It punched a hole straight through it, a half inch hole, all the way through everything, and it just kept on trucking off into the distance, which, of course, is a massive quarry, and uh, we saw the bullet land on the ground far off, safe from everybody. But what's impressive is that that refrigerator will not protect you from the 50 AE. While it might not be the best solution for shooting at a lock, it certainly is rather terrifying in almost any other sort of concealment or cover sort of situation. The 50 AE, Action Express, and the Desert Eagle is no joke. And if you'd like to see more of these type of videos where I'm going over kind of fun video game and gun related content, let me know in the comments and of course subscribe, which you guys already do anyway, so I'm just repeating typical YouTube bullshit. But if you like these sort of videos, let me know.